Cultivating pepper crops yields a basic wage for farmer Victor Julio, but it's what he doesn't plant that helps him pay for the rest of the family's expenses. The vast majority of Julio's 30 hectare farm in northeastern Costa Rica belongs to the jungle. He earns a stipend for leaving that forest intact, part of a national effort to protect and expand the country's forest cover. About every 15 years, he is allowed to harvest and sell a limited amount of timber, which provides a big financial bonus. Aside from the extra income, the rainforest offers a value beyond price. Costa Rica has been a pioneer in developing a system of payments for environmental services, or PES. Since 1997, PES funding has boosted forest and watershed protection, agroforestry, and reforestation with native species. Evidentemente, y sin lugar a dudas, el pago por servicios ambientales ha tenido un rol y un aporte importante en, en que se haya revertido y se haya aumentado la tasa de, de cobertura forestal en, en el país. PES is one of many measures Costa Rica is taking to rehabilitate its forests after decades of cutting for cattle pastures and commodity crops left the country in an environmental crisis. Forest cover has now expanded to 54 percent thanks to more sustainable agriculture practices, stronger legal controls over land use, and especially funding for forest protection. It's also because of individuals like Delvin Mendez. He was troubled by the disappearance of water in the Nosara River Basin in western Costa Rica as a result of massive deforestation. Mendez and other concerned partners teamed up to buy, piece by piece, the remaining forest area and to plant new trees on barren slopes. Now, this Monte Alto Reserve spans more than 900 hectares. The hills are once again green, and wildlife and water have returned. When we bought the finca, there was a tree, 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 Sin, sin vegetación. Cinco años después yo pasé por ahí, me moché un sendero y pasé por ahí, y había un naciente de agua, y nací el agua, en verano nací el agua. Backed by strong national policies and financial incentives, it's often the determination of ordinary people that's helping reclaim the forests of Costa Rica hillside by hillside.